Hi, I'm David the Bruce, and this is The Jungle Queens. And today it is my pleasure to bring you this fabulous The Jungle Girl. And it's based on Edgar Rice Burroughs' uh, novel by the same title, The Jungle Girl. <clears throat> There's actually very little uh, similarity between uh, this series and the book. I must tell you that right off, including the name of the jungle girl, which is here, Nokia. And, um, and in the book, the jungle girl is Asian. Well, obviously, she's not Asian here. No, <laughs> no, she's a, a, from America, and her name is Frances Gifford. And what an actress she is. Um, she had an amazing rise in, in um, Hollywood. Uh, she was discovered when she was just 17 years old, and in this film, uh, she is 21, and um, already she had done a number of films, and then she did a number of films after this, and her star just kept going up and up until a tragedy hit, and that kind of ended it all for her. Sad story, but um, here you'll see her. The Jungle Queens are about um, women in leadership in exotic locations. Yep. You know, back then they couldn't show women in leadership, typically. They just couldn't do it. And yet, there was that desire, that urge within women uh, to do this. And so these kind of movies explored that possibility. What would it look like if a woman was in power? Now, this is 1941. And uh, so that's what makes, I think, the Jungle Queen so important. They are uh, what you might call pre-feminist movies. Now, there are some... Um, reflections of cultural norms of that time which are highly inappropriate now but back then they were just with the way things were so you have to kind of blink at that these uh, this one is um is, is very good uh the, the the writing is good the acting is good uh certainly a b level but uh, this is a serial you know now the serials would show uh, once a week, you know, you'd, you'd go to the theater and you, you'd see the serial and you'd go the next time and see another one. And um, they were about 20 minutes each, you know. Uh, these here were about uh, 16 minutes to 17 minutes thereabouts. And what I've done, there's 15 of them, I've divided it up into three groups of, of, of five. So that's 15. And uh, so in part one, I have the first five uh, episodes of Jungle Girl, and then the, the second one I have um, this the second five, and then in um, the last one, you know, you get uh, eleven through fifteen. So that's that's how I've done it, and um, I, I think you're really going to enjoy this. Now, on the sides of the of the film, you will see uh, some information. Read it. You get to know all about Frances Gifford. You get to know about the Jungle Queens. You get to know about how this uh, movie was made, some of the facts behind it, and uh, some other kinds of things, too. You, you, it's, it's fun. You may have to watch this twice, once for the, the series and once for the uh, little bits of information on the side. I'll keep the facts up a little bit long, so, you know, you can say, okay, I'll read it now and then come back, you know. If it isn't quite time, it, it, it won't go away for a little bit, and then you can read it. Anyway, uh, I'm David the Bruce. Let's get going.
leaving the swamps. Yeah, this must be Simbula Lake. How does it check on your map? Oh, well, there are no maps in this territory, Mr. Latimer. Oh, this is strictly back of beyond. So what do you know about this Masamba tribe that's supposed to be living here? Nobody knows about them. The story goes that they drifted down here from the Sahara Desert centuries ago. They're friendly, I guess.
grateful to you. Why did you come here? We're looking for a Dr. Meredith. He's my father. I'll take you to him. Sorry, but I had to shoot one of your natives. Who was shot, Shamba? Polter. He back in jungle. Shamba make voodoo. He get well. Do nothing of the kind. Take it to the Dr. Buana. Ayak, go ahead. What is that he's holding, Doctor? That? Oh, that's the uh, lion amulet. Ancient symbol of the chief medicine man. The natives believe it has curative powers. Before I came here, it was used in voodoo and uh, witch doctor rites. Are you the tribal medicine man? Yes. When I arrived, Lutembe, he's the chief, was dying of malignant jungle fever. I cured him, and his father, he was the medicine man, gave me the amulet. It's also a symbol of authority. As long as I have the amulet, I can control the tribe. Put him in the hospital hut now, girl. Mind if I go along? Of course not. I suppose you wonder why we're here, Doctor. Yes, I, uh, I was coming to that. I am a little curious. That's your brother, Bradley Meredith. What devilment is he up to now? Your brother's a changed man, Doctor. As you know, he received a long term in prison. He's just recently been paroled. I owe my brother nothing, Mr. Latimer. Absolutely nothing. His criminal activities drove me into the jungle, forced me to bring my daughter up with a savage tribe. I'm sorry, Latimer, but I can have... Hear me through, please. Your brother's desperately ill in the Kimba. He's convinced that only you can save his life. So you've come to take me back with you. Yes, but only long enough to treat him. After all, he is your brother, and you are a physician. Oh, I'm not forgetting my Hippocratic oath. But this, this is different. This man is a murderer. He's paid for that. Doctor, what name would you give a physician who refused to treat a dying man? I'm sorry you had to say that, Latimer. Of course. I'll go back with you to Kimberval. But only on one condition. My daughter must know absolutely nothing of this. She doesn't even know I've got a brother. I understand. What about your pilot? Stanton knows nothing of my reasons for coming here. When can we start? Sometime today. As long as we're going into Kimberval. I may as well get some medical supplies. So I'll have to go to the caves of Nacros to get some of the tribal diamonds. If you don't mind waiting here, I won't be long. I'm flying out to Kimberval this afternoon, Ioka, but I've got to go to the caves of Nacros first. The caves of Nacros? I always thought they were another African fairy tale. Well, there are some fantastic stories, I'll admit, but the caves do actually exist. You can see for yourself. We'll all go. Fine, let's see them. Looks like an old tomb. The Masamba found diamonds here. Now they use the caves as a storehouse for the tribal wealth. Now, what became of the diamonds? Well, most of them are still in there. Aren't they guarded? Oh, yes. Very well guarded, as you'll see. This lion amulet is the passport to the caves of Nacros. These are the lion guards. They're chosen from the bravest men of the tribe. Yes, I know, but these guards couldn't stop anybody who was armed. They'd sound the alarm, and others inside have a defensive device that would stop an army. I see. Now, here is the real defense. This gate blocks a tunnel that leads into Simbula Lake. It can be flooded in a few seconds. At the same time, the outer gates close automatically so that anyone in this tunnel will be carried 
through the cliff and into Sambula Lake. We go up this way. I'm sorry, Stanton, but only the possessor of the amulet may enter the inner caves. We will wait here. An amulet sure works. Who gets it when he goes back to Kimberva? It'll remain here. The natives believe that if it comes in contact with the idle part of the time, it'll regain its strength. Supposing he doesn't return to claim it. Well, the land will give it to me as his heir. And if anything happens to me, then it goes to Shamba, the witch doctor. I see. I'll be back soon, Lutembe. Quick soon, Bala. Mazamba needs you. But I must go now. I promised Mr. Stanton that I'd be... Nyoka. My charm, it's gone. Oh, it's around someplace, Dad. I'll find it. You mustn't keep Mr. Stanton waiting. But it contains the only picture of you I have. Don't worry about it. I'll find it. Goodbye, Lutembe. Goodbye, Bana. Tonight I make death voodoo for Dr. Buana. Fire voodoo, Shamba? Fire voodoo, Bambu. Now we go this way. Your brother lives here. Death come for Dr. Buana. Dead close him now. Much close. Would you, uh, prefer to see him alone? If you don't mind. Hello, John. Bradley. I thought that I was dying, huh? <laughs> we figured that was a certain way to get you here. Then there's nothing wrong with you. Well, nothing that a few of your diamonds won't cure. Oh. So you know about the Nacros diamonds, do you? Then you should know that they belong to the Masamba tribe. But even if I owned them outright, I'd never... Don't be a righteous fool, John. I've got a plan that'll set us up like kings. Kings, I tell you. You can have anything you want. Instead of living like an outcast with a tribe of shrieking savages, those shrieking savages are my friends, and they don't commit murder. Dr. Buana will die. Is that all? Isn't that enough? Yes. For a piece of criminal trickery, that's quite enough. Now you listen to me. The Nacros diamonds will be used for the betterment of the Masamba tribe and nothing else. If you do anything to block me in getting those diamonds, I... Well, how do you think that precious daughter of yours would like to learn that Bradley Meredith, 
the man who did time for murder is your twin brother. There was a time, Bradley, when I would have done almost anything to avoid that. But it doesn't influence me now. I'm going to report you to the police. Tonight. Wait a minute. Dr. Abwana is dead. Hey, you two sure look alike, don't you? We should. We're identical twins. You'd better start calling me Dr. Meredith. I get it. You're going back to Kairobi and impersonate him. Then get this. By tomorrow, we'll be back in the jungle after those Nacros diamonds. I'll organize the boys. You arrange for the plane. Dr. Buona is dead. No Shamba medicine man of tribe. Lion men give Nyoka amulet. She lead tribe. Then Nyoka die too. How she die? In morning, get Kimbo. Bring here. Make more voodoo. Nyoka die too. What is it? Kimbu, he hurt. You come help? Where is he? In jungle. Me show you. All right, come on. I've got to fix the ship against the weather. We'll go on ahead to the village. See you later. Right. Jack, everything curly? Everything's okay, Jack. Ready to take off any minute. Fine, let's get out of the village. I wet. It grow long. Fire make hide dry. It grow short. I pull posts. Nayoka die in fire. Okay, but make it snappy.
want that witch doctor. Are you all right? Where's Shamba? He got away. I've got to get to the caves of Nacros. Why? Shamba thinks he killed my father with voodoo. And he probably believes he killed me with that spear. That means he'll try to claim the amulet. I've got to get to the lion men first. Hey, come up here. Shamba, come for Lion Amulet. Shamba, medicine man of Masamba now. Dr. Juana, medicine man of Mazamba. Dr. Buana dead. Nayoka died too. Shamba, medicine man. You come see Lion Chief. I didn't even see that guy. He's one of Shamba's men. Shamba must be in the cave. We've got to hurry. Devil bird, he come. White men come to rap. Say the warrior. Here come. Jamaica.
Nice timing. I didn't even see that guy. He's one of Shamba's men. Shamba must be in the cave. We've got to hurry. Shamba. White man from Devilbird. He come. Hey, I come. Jamaica, you. that Shamba still has the amulet. Do you have to tell him right away? Of course. He'll know how to deal with Shamba. Why shouldn't I tell him? Well, this is the first chance I've had to tell you. He had an accident to his head in Kimberval. Is he badly hurt? No. It brought on amnesia. He has uh, lapses of memory. But it's just a temporary condition. I've got to get to it once. Sure, you got everything straight. Yes, I know. I'm the beloved white doctor and the father of Nyoka. That's right. Do you think I can get away with this? Of course, they won't suspect a thing. You can pull that loss of memory stuff whenever it suits you. Now listen, the first thing we want is that amulet. We can't get the diamonds without it. Girl's coming. Over here. Is he asleep? No, just resting. He's been quite worried about you. Nyoka, my dear. Dad, are you comfortable? Yes. But the amulet, Nyoka. I must have the amulet. Of course, Dad. But you better get some rest now. I didn't want to tell him, but Shamba still has the amulet. But you and your father are the rightful holders of the amulet. Why don't you get the lion man to take it from Shamba? It's not as simple as that. Lutembe's father passed it on to us, but you see, the lion men only obey the possessor of the amulet. This is going to worry your father. It may make his condition worse. I know. I've got to find some way to get it back. What are you doing? Kimbu, pray to lying goddess. Tell her to take form and make Shamba give Amulet back to White Doctor. Why, that's ridiculous, Kimbo. You know that an idol can't come to life. You shouldn't even... come to life.
The lion goddess does not want this sacrifice to a false medicine man. My people, Shamba has lied to you. The white doctor is not dead. The amulet still belongs to him. I have taken form to lead you to Shamba and get the amulet for the Buana doctor. Come. Hold up. form as of old to right some wrong that has been done. I have come for the amulet. Why doctor dead? The amulet is mine. The white doctor is not dead. Return the amulet or bring the curse of the lion goddess to the Masamba tribe. You know the legend. Shamba no legend. It say, she who would be lion goddess must face test of lions. Shamba, speak truth. The sacred knife. Come. Hi, Kimbo. Kimbo said he saw that lion man taking Nyoko to Shamba's village, and that means trouble. Come on, Curly. You stay here and watch the plane, Kimbo. Let this happen. There must be a sacrifice. Take her to Nakras.
I take now you got to fire God. Oh yeah, come here. Hey, hey, sir. that I care about being captured. It's Nyoko that I'm worried about. You still do that trick of throwing your voice? Well, yeah. Why? Now's a good time to try it. I think I know what you mean. Help! Help! Let me out of this basket. Come on, you. Let me out. Let me out of this basket, you hear? Wiggy Lou. Who do you think it is? Charlie McCarthy. This is the spot where Naoka and I came out of the caves. We have to swing down to the ledge. Let's start swinging.
Shamba on the warpath, neither the doctor or Nyoka are safe. We have to get out of here. You're right, Stanton. Has something you have the plan ready? We can take off the first thing in the morning. That's swell. We'll be ready. Come on, Curly. Have you been hit by jungle fever? What's the idea of moving out without the diamonds? Take it easy, Brad. I didn't come down here for the ride. We'll get the diamonds. What? How? Through Shamba. I think I can make a little deal with him that'll straighten everything out. Sit tight. I'll be back soon. I want to see Shamba. I have an important message for him. Take me to him. need them. I want to talk to you alone. Hi, Uncle. Sit. I know you don't like me or any of the other whites around here. Well, I can promise you we'll all leave Simbula tomorrow on the devil bird. White medicine man and Nayoka too? 
Yes. But on one condition. You give me those diamonds. How I know you're not Trick Chamber? What do you give for trade? What do you want? Mayoka. I promise to sacrifice to Lion Goddess. She must die. All right. But I'll need your help to bring her here. Now, you must... Ah, oh, you're a big help, Kimbo. Why you go away? Because the white doctor's sick. You come back? Someday. You help me take these to the plane, Kimbo. Yes. Might as well keep each other company. Thank you. Come on, Kito. Come on.
does. We take her to the village. Make sacrifice tonight. When do I get the diamonds? Shemba comes to caves at midnight. You meet him there. All right. Comes Kimball. Morning, Stanton. Morning, Stanton. Shamba men take Nyoka. Where? Shamba village. Hurry back to Kurobi and tell the chief what happened. Uh, we may need help. Shambas as good as dead. in the swamp and we can lose him. Come on. What are we waiting on? Hold on. Hold on. Let's 
This place is covered with oil. We gotta get out of here fast. Well, what are we waiting for? the swamp and we can lose him. Come on. What are we waiting on? Talk to me. Hurry up. Hey, come on, help me. One of that time saved our lives. We better get back to Cairo. Big Dad will be worried. We are very 
lucky to get away. It's a good thing we decided to leave here. None of us are safe now. Yes, I, I suppose you're right. Will you be ready to take off tomorrow? Well, yes, it won't take long to get the plane ready. Well, I guess we better turn in. Come on, Curly. Good night. Good night. I think I'll go to bed too, Dad. Back yet? Not yet. We're in a fine mess. Nyoka got away from Shambath. What's that? Latimer. Nyoka's escaped. Uh, that explains why Shamba didn't keep his date with me. Didn't you get the diamond? No. Nyoka and Stanton insist that we fly back to Kimberville tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. How are you going to stay here without their getting suspicious? For your good friend, Chief Lutembe. With his help, we can fix things. And this Stanton has persuaded the doctor to return to Kimberville until his wounds are healed. Shamba has the lion amulet. And with it, he can cause an uprising that will destroy all the good that you both have done. If the doctor leaves. What do we do? Uh, if you help me, we can keep him here. How? The only way to leave Simbula swamps is in the great bird that brought us here. If Great Bird cannot fly, we cannot go. We're all set. Now you're going to be here pretty soon with the baggage. Well, while you're cleaning up, I'll load the gas. Okay. What's that? Sounds like a native in trouble. Ah! Must be down the trail. Come on. We're in a tough spot. Yeah, some hole we're in. Yeah. Well, let's try to get out of here. Come on. Brother Jack. What's the matter with you, Curly? Go on up. Jack! I ain't alone up here. There's a lion up there. He ain't kidding. Save those shells. We may need them. Yeah, but they might bring help.
I need is an aspirin. Boy, I'll never be caught without this gun again. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll hand the gas down to you, Jack. Okay. Is the plane all ready? We're all set. Hey, Jack. Yeah? The gas is gone, every can of it. Who could have done that? I don't know. They left tracks, I can follow them. pass through here. There have to be a lot of them to do it. You need some men to guard the gasoline? Gasoline guarded by spear trap. Much better. I sure have a funny sense of humor. This is the entrance to Dark Canyon. It can't be far now.
Looks like it's all here. Yeah. Yeah, they can't stay here long, though. They'll circle us. Make fire trap. Put it up, you. What about the gas? They can't stay here long, though. They'll circle us. Make fire trap. Put a good What about the gas? Look! We gotta get out of here. That wind's blowing our way. How are we gonna get that gas leak? Never mind the gas. Let's go!
him and his warriors may still be somewhere around here. They've never heard an explosion like that in their lives. They'll be deep in the jungle by now. Yeah, I guess so. Jack, what are we going to do? We'll never get out of this jungle now. Our gasoline's gone. Well, there's nothing we can do. Let's get back to Kairobi. There you are, Jack. If I could only find the oil deposit that supplies the film that covers these swamps, I could refine enough crude gas to fly us out. Stan, you've got to. The only way we can get out of here. Take it easy, Doctor. You mustn't excite yourself. I suggest you begin to search for that oil immediately. I know where those seepage pools are. I'll take you to them. Good. Let's not waste any time. Come on, Curly. I sure hope Stan can refine enough gas. We'd be in an awfully tough spot if he doesn't. That's his job. Ours is to get the diamonds. But the diamonds are in the caves of Nacros. The lion men won't let us in unless we bring their amulets. We'll have the amulets a day. Just walk right over and take it away from Shamba, I suppose. No, we won't, but let's him be, Will. To him, you're the big white medicine man, father of Nyoka. You need the amulet for its curative powers. Now, before he finds out you're only Dr. Meredith's twin brother, you're gonna go to his hut and... I don't forget, Buana. You speak true word. Shamba shall be punished. And the amulet. I get it for you, our true medicine man. My warrior hunt the lion. When they return, we will strike the war drum. Tell <laughs> Looks like we could ford it right here. It's shallow enough. But look. We'd better not go waiting today. No, sir. I'm allergic to water. <laughs> There's a footbridge just above here. We'd better take this one at a time. Which one of us is the heaviest? Boy, I'm losing weight every minute. Okay. All right, now you're good. Come ahead. Well spot to throw old razor blades. <laughs>
her. and wreck those water locks. What about those lion guards? We'll have to get by them somehow. You go back to Karobi, Kimbu. For Nyoka, I thought... Little man, you've had a busy day. Do what Nyoka tells you.
Nayoka. 